This video is intended to show you the different types of setup you'll need for your Casio GDC if you're calculating summary statistics. It's not intended to show you how to get to the setup screen on the GDC. Um, that's instructions for that or elsewhere. Um, it's just the different ways you can actually set your calculator up. First of all, there are three ways you might be presented with data in your course and the way that the data is presented is going to affect the setup so you need to be able to identify the type of data you've got first of all. The first condition is that you might have data um, given to you as a list of values and that's where the data values are written individually so in this case there are eight data values there's a three, a four, two fives, a six, an eight, eleven and a thirteen they might be written horizontally, they might be written vertically, if there's a lot of them they might be pre presented as a table with a number of rows and columns, but essentially each individual data value is given to you. The second way you might be presented data is in a frequency table, and there are two types of frequency table you could see. The first one, the top one, you're given specific data values and the frequencies, so the value 10 occurs 7 times, the value 12 occurs 19 times, the value 14 occurs two, twice, 16 doesn't occur at all, and 18 occurs twice. Um, the second way you might be presented with the data is in a grouped frequency table. So this table shows the amount of uh, fuel sold um, per day. So the number of petrol stations selling between 2,000 and 3,000 litres per day was 4. 3,000 to 4,000 is 4. Um, in this case, uh, as you should know, hopefully, you're going to use the midpoint value. So to convert a grouped frequency table like this yellow one at the bottom to a frequency table such as the one at the top, you'll take 2,500, 3,500, 4,500, and so on, take the midpoint. You'll recognize a frequency table because there are two columns to it. The first column on the left is the data. The second column on the right is the frequency, the number of times that data value occurs. Another table with two columns in it is if you've got bivariate data. Bivariate data also has two columns, but in this case the second column isn't a frequency. It's a set of values. Each row of this table represents one value in the data set. So the top row, for example, says 12 years in education, $64,000. That means this represents a person who had 12 years in education and now earns $64,000 each row is a specific person or case in the data set. So that's the difference between the bivariate data. The right hand column is not the frequency, it's another variable, another data value. Right, the way you set your calculator up varies depending on which type of data you've got. So for the first one, when you've got the data as a list of values, you need to only worry about the one var setup because you've only got one variable. And in this one, your x list needs to be the list where the data is. I've put list 1 because typically that will be where it will be. But of course you can use any of the other lists on the GTC. Crucially, the frequency needs to say 1. That means that there is one of each data value. It's not a frequency table. Each data value appears once. You might think, well, hang on a minute, 5 appears twice. Yes, but you're going to type it in twice. So there will be 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, another 5 a 6, an 8, 11 and a 13. So the frequency of each value is 1 and you must type each value in the list in even if it is repeated. The frequency table is also single variable data. You only have one variable. The second column isn't another data variable, it's the frequency. So you're still looking at the one var setup. Your data was still typically in list 1 but it needn't be, it could be in another list, that's fine and your frequency now changes to list 2 so that tells your calculator that this frequency is in list 2 or to look in another list for the frequencies so you would enter x data in list 1 frequency data in list 2 and that will be your setup of course you could use other uh, other lists in your tape your GDC um, and change the setup appropriately similarly here you would enter 2500 3500 4500 and so on in list 1 and your frequencies in list 2 and the setup needs to reflect the columns that those are in. The third type of data is when you've got bivariate data that means two variables bivariate is two variables and now we go to two variable so we don't worry about the top two lines the X list is in list 1 and the Y list is in list 2 this is the variable X 
this is the variable y so that's how you set it up you could of course reverse these if you wanted to but it must be set up with x list and y list showing the two lists where your data is stored the frequency for two variable will almost always be one it is very unlikely that you will ever have to set that to anything other than one so that should stay the same okay that's a summary of the setup you might want to take a, a screen capture of that if you need to so you've got that that's a summary of how the setup should look for each of the different uh, data presentations um, and hopefully that makes a little bit more sense